Good day! In this video, we are going to do the 2024 Numeracy exam paper 32406 or apply maths and stats in a range of everyday situation. This is a 10 credit level 1 uh, internal and to get the 10 credit, you need to get a certain number of outcome in outcome 1, 2 and 3. So to do that, we have to do question 1A to 1C in this video. So 1A looks like this. So we're going to start with 1A and I'm going to adjust the paper. Okay, so let's read the question together and let's solve question 1A. Okay, it's about Tua Tara, it's a lizard in New Zealand. So New Zealand is the home to the last surviving dinosaur, the Tua Tara. So Tuatara first lived about 225 million years ago. The oldest rock shows New Zealand is at least 500 million years old. So on the timeline circle, a circle, the arrow that shows 225 million years ago. So we have minus 500 million years ago and we have 2024 which is this year and we need to know where is 225. So I reckon it's going to be somewhere in the middle. So to me, that will be number five. If you circle number five, you circle number five, and that will be outcome number one. Okay, let's do question 1B. Okay, 1B sounds like this. Okay, so Tuatara eats small animals such as Wita, worms, beetles, and spiders. The Tuatara weighs one kg, and the Wita weighs 25 grams. How many times heavier is the Tuatara than the Wita? So, to do this, we need to convert the same unit. So, 1 kilogram is actually equals to 1,000 gram. Okay? And the Wita is 25 gram. So, we remind, remain it at 25 gram. So, how heavy is the Tuatara, which is here, over the Wita? We just take 1,000 divided by 25. And they, if you put your calculator, it should be 40 times. And this question is going to be outcome number two. And now we're going to proceed to the last question, which is outcome number, uh, sorry, is the question 1C. Okay, so we continue. So Tuatara are endangered, okay? So a breeding program for Tuatara has been set up. A female Tuatara lays 10, 6 to 10 eggs every four years. The egg takes 11 to 16 months to hatch. If all the eggs survive, how many Tuatara would you expect to get from one female in 10 years' time? Show your calculation you used to get your answer. So this sounds very complicated, but if you break them down, it should be quite easy. So we shall do that at the moment, okay? So there are many ways to do it, uh, and acceptable on both ways. So the easiest way is to get the average. So average between 6 and 10 is going to be 8, because there are two cycles, so because it, every 10 years, uh, for the next 10 years, so they gave, can lay eggs for two cycles. So they will get 8 times 2 and you have a total of 16 Tuatara, okay? Baby Tuatara. And the other way to do it is to calculate the minimum and maximum and this could be a bit tricky, okay? So the minimum is that if we take 6, the minimum is 6 and you're going to take two cycles again and the total number of Tuatara is going to be 12 baby Tuatara. On the other hand, to get calculate maximum, you need to think outside the box, okay? To get 10, so we're doing 10 now, 10 eggs, okay? Maximum is 10 eggs, but instead of two cycle, it can actually be three cycles. For example, if the Tuatara lays the egg in the first year, the next time it's going to lay the eggs is going to be in the fifth, fifth year, and then four years later, it'll be nine years, so there'll be three cycles in total. So that's why you take 10 times three cycles and a total of 30 baby Tuatara. So the answer to this, it could be between 12, the minimum is 12, and maximum.